Welcome back to FSD Fitness. Um, so this is just a quick follow on from last week when we did the uh, when we did the squat test. So that was a case of if you could get down to full squat position uh, and being able to hold it for around that two minute mark. So, so uh, if you're unable to do that, then we're basically what we're going to do now is just try and find a way of uh, trying to improve uh, improve your chances at it. So today in particular, we're going to be looking at dorsiflexion and so tight ankles. So basically what we're looking for, uh, what you kind of sometimes find is you might be able to get the range of motion through the, hip, through the knee, you might be able to get uh, the range of motion through the hip, but your ankle might be restricting you. So we're going to look at two things. The first thing is if you're squatting and you're squatting and you've got like, you know, if you've got na um, flat feet, you'll see this whole thing just shift in. So if I stand up, I'm going to see the knee. So if I, so if I let my foot completely relax, I'm quite I'm flat footed, you see how my knee angle changes. And if you squat down, you see how that wants to collapse in. Now, if we create a, like, a, like a little arch underneath, so in other words, push that little toe into the ground and away from you, so you're trying to screw your feet into the ground, you can see just here, go that angle. So if you can see, create like a little arch in the foot, and what that'll do, if you watch the knee angle, so from there, screw into the ground, pushes that knee out. So as we squat down now, we can see how the knee is going to track a lot nicer um, and uh, externally rotate the hip just by changing your ankle, okay? So we're putting you in a much nicer, safer position. So there's less chance of this happening, we're gonna engage the glutes, and obviously, as a result, uh, increase, increase our strength. The next thing we wanna look at is the actual dorsiflexion. So how much range can we get around the ankle? So a dorsiflexion is basically uh, closing this angle, like this, okay? So a couple of things we need to look at. Um, if, if you do uh, Olympic lifting then, and you've got Olympic lifting shoes on, your range of dorsiflexion is going to be, is going to, it, it, it's going to be huge, um, well beyond sort of 45 degrees really. So, for, um, so Olympic lifting shoes do help with that. Um, but however, if you don't and you just want to be able to get down to a full, full depth squat, so a full depth squat, just a quick reminder, is hips well below knees and that sort of angle. Um, that angle, for the for dorsiflexion is around is about 30 degrees okay so rather than going out and buying bits and bobs and trying to find out uh, what your uh, ankle range is all you need is a tape measure and a wall okay it's got a tape measure so what it, what it turns out to be so unroll your tape measure put it into the wall and we're looking for about 12 centimeters which is about here so line up your toe with 12 centimeters so make sure you, you, your, uh, the foot that you're measuring is load bearing, because load, because basically when your foot is load bearing, your uh, your dorsiflexion will actually increase. And because we're going to be doing squatting, deadlifts, cleans, all that sort of stuff, jumping, plyometrics, etc., then we're looking, um, we want to be able to get that. Now obviously there's a bit of a step out here as well, so you know, take that into consideration. Ideally, we want to try and find something nice and flat, okay? So basically, my toe, so here we go. So my toe is at 12 centimeters. There, keep your heel flat on the floor, make sure it's low bearing, okay? And then just reach forward and try and get your knee to touch the wall, okay? And also try and screw that foot in and create that little angle underneath there, all right? And that's kind of what we're looking at. So we're looking at that angle, uh, this angle, sorry, I should say. So your toe wants to be around 12 centimeters away from the wall, and then that is around 30, uh, 30 degrees. Um, if you want to squat to parallel, it's about here. What we're looking for there is around eight degrees, um, eight centimeters away from the wall, which is a um, which is about 20 degrees. So line the foot up against the uh, tape measure, eight centimeters. Again, do the same. Move forward. The closer that is, okay, so the, the, so the less depth you can get. If you're doing box squats, then, you know, that can be as little as 10 degrees, really. Okay, but if you want to get full range of motion through hips below, uh, hips below the knees and get back up again, keep the torso up, to help to keep the torso up, then we're looking for a 30 degree range through dorsiflexion, which is about 12 centimeters away. So, if you're struggling to get that, there's a couple of methods that we can do um, to help. So, uh, to help you get into that range. Ideally, uh, you can go through sort of 
or the uh, traditional calf stretches that, that we do. However, you want it to be quite specific to, to squatting uh, and deadlifting, etc. So what we kind of find is if you get into that position and hold it for around two, uh, around two minutes, let the, let the muscle fibers change, then you know, it's, it's a slightly better, uh, better way of getting like a really specific stretch to, to what you need to do, okay? So we're gonna show you two stretches or two ways of sort of like increasing that range, okay? So, so the first thing we need to do for this one, keep this out of the way for a sec, I need that for a second one. The first thing we need to do is if you come up to a squat rack or something that you can hold on to, basically what we want to do, put your feet close to, uh, as close to it as possible, and squat yourself down. And then what you, want, what you need to be able to do then is you can hold yourself, keep your back nice and flat, and then you can reach and get into those corner ranges, okay? And then you can sort of find out and find where it's tight. When you find a tight bit, just lean and hold, and then hold it and drive that knee out and shut that angle, in, angle as much as possible and hold that for around two minutes. Okay, so that's a good way of doing it. And then obviously you swap around, do the, ah, do the other side, okay? Next one, you need a big band, okay? So don't get, don't get one of those little tiny thera bands, it's, uh, it probably won't end too well for you. So you want like a nice big strong band. And then basically, all you do, get yourself on the inside of it, okay? Get it underneath the hips, and then you can squat down again. So get your foot in a good position, and then you can lean back and sort of hang out. And again, you can sort of work away and shut that angle and work on those corners of the foot. Okay, to try and get try and get that 30 degrees angle if you can. Okay, so again, sort of like when you find areas of tightness, just hold and sit and hold it. Okay, keep back nice and flat, shoulder blades up, uh, shoulder blades back, chest up, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So there you go, so the two stretches that you can do to keep you, uh, <coughs> two stretches you can do that's going to help you hit that full depth squat. Um, so that's it, so try that for a couple of weeks, uh, try and do that maybe two, three times a week, test, retest with the, uh, with the squat test um, and that's pretty much it. So if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to share it amongst your network so other people can see, go try it in the gym, tell them where you've got the information from. Um, and then yeah, don't forget to like us on Facebook uh, and, and follow us on Twitter, uh, put the links below and that's it.